In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also replicate this wiggly looking text effect, which you can actually also apply to pretty much any type of graphic in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. I'm not going to waste any time. This is kind of a pretty easy effect to create, yet it can, you know, add a lot of extra to your um, videos. So um, yeah, first thing you want to do is obviously have either a text or a graphic element that you are going to use. So as you can see, I added this uh, nice little B-roll in the background of the ocean uh, from a drone shot and I also added the text. So what you want to do is you want to go to your effects and you want to search up turbulent displays, okay? And you want to go ahead and drag and drop this onto your graphics or your text. And you can see now it looks kind of shit, you know? Like, it doesn't look that great. So you want to go to your effect controls. And by the way, if your Premiere is laid out a little bit differently, you can always just go here to the top right corner to workspaces and click on essentials. That's the one I'm using right now. Now you want to go ahead and change the effect controls of the turbulent displace effect right here. So the first thing you can change is the amount, right? So you can see as I change this, it's also uh, changing how the text is kind of like morphed. So I'm going to go with something like this, like a, a nice, you know, 15, uh, let's just say that. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and come here to the beginning of it. You want to click on the toggle animation button on evolution. And now you want to go to the end of your uh, graphic or around there, right? So I'm just going to come here. And now uh, your evolution number, whatever you put this to, is going to determine kind of like how fast it's wiggling, right? So um, you can go ahead and pull this up to whatever number you want you know, try out what looks good for you. Obviously, the bigger you make that number, the faster it's going to like wiggle. And the smaller you make that number, the slower it's going to wiggle. But it will also be determined by how long your clip is that you are applying this to, right? So uh, let's just see what we created right now. And you can see now we got this kind of like morphing, wiggling uh, effect. If I were to go ahead uh, to the second keyframe, right here and uh, change it to a different number, then uh, you know I could get a different looking effect based on that. Let's just make it like way bigger. And now uh, you can see it just moves a lot faster. Um, and yeah, you can really customize this to whatever you're looking for. Another thing that you can do here is when it uh, when you have this setting here called displacement, you can actually try out all these different ones. So they have the turbulent one as the um, base or like the default one, but you could also try this bulge one um, and you can see it will look just a little different uh, based on whatever setting you choose. You have this twist smoother as well. They are all kind of similar, but uh, a little bit different at the same time. And the cool thing is you can also apply this to other graphics, like I said, not just text. So for example, I have this one here with the Premiere Pro logo. So I can just come here to effects, again, place this one on there, go to uh, the edit, and uh, now I can change the amount to whatever I want, right? Let's just go with like 20. Um, if you change the size of it, it will also affect how your effect is going to look. Um, and uh, yeah, you can change again, keyframe the evolution. And uh, I'm just going to make it something like this. Let's make the size 100. And you can see now uh, the Premiere Pro logo is kind of like, you know, uh, wiggling a little bit. So hope you will find this effect useful in your own workflow as well. Don't be afraid to, you know, apply it to different kind of things. You can even apply it to like screenshots, any sort of like graphics, icons or texts, and it can add like a little bit of extra flair to your uh, edits. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about video editing, especially in Adobe Premiere Pro for, you know, the kind of content that is trending right now, which is YouTube videos, short form videos, videos, then go ahead and check out my masterclass magnetic editing in the description below and keep watching my channel for more free tutorials as well. So hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.